Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Mike and Tires. For all you new people out there, I'm Mike. And today, we're going to take a trip back in time. Back to when all this automobile stuff ha started happening. Back to 1908, when the Ford Model T started rolling off the assembly line. The history about the Ford Model T. Ford Model T came off the assembly line with a whopping 20 horsepower. Amazing. Especially back in the day when horsepower was measured with real horses. And 83 foot pounds of torque. That was quite a bit for back in the day. But you figure back then there's no air conditioning, no power steering, no shocks, none of the modern conveniences that we have today. And the heck, just getting the vehicle started was a chore. If you had an electric starter, if the car is cold, tug on the priming lever next to the radiator to turn the ignition switch to the magneto and you're ready to drive. All of that just to start the car. Just to start it. There's a whole nother directions of just how to drive the vehicle. Ain't no way you're doing anything else other than paying attention to driving because there was a lot of steps you had to constantly do in order to drive a Model T. I'm kind of really surprised that they took off as well as they did. All that just to start with a electric starter. Didn't have electric starter. You had to do all those steps plus a few extra and crank it by hand. And if you did it even slightly wrong, you would have got beat up by your own car. Picture that today. I mean, go. Hey, honey, I'm gonna go to the store. It's like, I'll be back in like three hours. Yeah, three hours. It's nine miles away to the closest Walmart. Speed limit's only 10 miles an hour. I know it can do 40. I'm not gonna speed. Are you crazy? 40 is crazy. No, I'm, I'm not gonna do 20 either. I'm, you have any idea how much it costs? This, this car cost me a fortune, a whopping $370 to buy this vehicle off the line. That's crazy. I can't afford to pay a, a speeding ticket. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go start my car. Oh, oh my shoulder. Yeah, that will go over great. Why in the world am I talking about the Model T? Well, hundred percent honest. I got rear-ended. Totaled out my Forerunner. All that work. And if you all remember my second video I ever put out about we need a car. Put a link up to it up here or there, whichever side it's going to be on. I know it was bad. I've worked on my quality. Thanks for sticking with me this this long for all my subscribers. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up for my new advances on my audio video. Uh huh. Yeah, I got rear ended after all that work to go find that vehicle. All those plans I had on upgrading the radio, three inch lift kits, bigger tires, off roading street. Uh, took me forever to find that vehicle without that wasn't covered in rust. Don't text and drive, people. Don't text and drive. That's all I'll say about that. But God rest my forerunner soul up in Idaho uh, heaven. I had to go get a new vehicle. And that's what got me thinking. All the modern amenities we have today compared to a Model T. Let's go check out what I got. So as you can see, I went and got myself a F-150 Platinum Edition. Now this car is not brand new. Like I said, I did purchase it from a CarMax though. It's a used vehicle. It's a 2012 3.5 liter EcoBoost motor. And this car has so many options. Unbelievable. I mean, to the point, I mean, I got, I got the button right here. Right there, these two buttons. I don't... I don't know what it does. I don't know what they do. 
I have no idea what what these buttons are for. But I mean, I got got a nice full touch screen. I got air conditioned seats, heated seats, dual zone temperature control. Nice illuminated screen up front. There are so many options on this thing, it's ridiculous. I love it and it's super comfy to drive. Big difference from a Model T. A lot more creature comforts, a lot more comfortable. Take a 500 mile trip in a day with no problem with this bad boy. Plans have changed for a little bit how this channel is gonna go. We were gonna do a lot more a lot of off-roading type things, but this is not a truck I intend to take that heavily off-roading like I intended for the 4Runner. But there's a few things that I think 4 could have done better on this truck that we're going to work on. And those are going to be our continuing videos. So I hope you guys liked the video for today. Make sure to give me a, a thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys next time. Later.